Alright, what's up people? This is Sif Urian. This is Brown Bear Henry. Right now we're going to be jumping into a brand new episode of Love. This is episode 5. It's called The Date. Very quick recap because we're kind of binge watching these at the moment. Mickey's friend held a, a like house party. Mickey invited Gus. Pretty much the party was going kind of fine until a couple of Mickey's exes turned up and got her in a bit of a shitty mood. She started like drinking, drinking. Caused a bit of a scene and, and crashed out in the pool and just splat. <laughs> but there was Gus, Gus to the rescue. There was yeah, Gus, Gus to the, res to the Gus rescue. To, what upset this one girl because Gus kind of, I, I personally think he pulled this one girl and they were giggling and laughing together. Me personally, I could have gone home with that girl without no second thoughts. Like she was stunning. <laughs> but Gus, of course, he, he went straight to Mickey's aid and, and we ended the episode with them guys sat in the bathroom, I think it was. Tony. Mickey's roommate Bertie was there as well. Kind of cop blocked the situation because I think they would have kind of kissed if they were like left alone. It was Mickey's idea that Gus and Bert, Bertie get together. So they're, they're probably gonna go on the date. That's why the episode is called The Date. Uh, it's probably gonna be Mickey and, no, I mean Gus and, and Bertie going out on a date together. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get into this. Episode five, let's do this, man. Hi, Mickey, alcoholic. Hi, Mickey. Um, I'm doing good, doing the work. This weekend was weird, tough. My friends had this party and let's just say I let things get out of hand. No, no way. I drink. I'm still sober, but. You should fuck. The first time in a super long time. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, she is trying to come off it and. If it's got her like that crying, I hope it. Oh, she doesn't come off it. Yeah. To be that far in as well, and then yeah, kind of relapse and having to start again, man. We had dickhead boyfriends all the time, just stressing her out by the looks of things, pushing in that one direction. Yeah. I'll just keep my door closed and text me, had a good night on your way home, and I'll know you guys are going to do it. Oh, I couldn't leave that fast. Also, my period ended yesterday, so it really don't feel like, I don't know, maybe I should just suck him off. I can't tell you whether or not to do ah. The girl looks so innocent and uh, speaks innocent. She says stuff like that. It's hilarious. I mean, I don't want to be the kind of person who doesn't give blowjobs, but if they're not any good, who cares? I should give more. I deserve to have fun. I like her. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Ben. Hello. Just so you know, we have a special oh, tonight. The steak dry aged 30 days. It was in a couple of things I watched. It was in one called Loud Milk. Which is pretty good, and Kevin probably saves the world, which, is, which I think they've cancelled. Okay. Get grandpa, stop eating yourself out. Get out of here. And now you're just a few steps away from having your home just the way you want it. Now on to design tip number fifteen. I still stand by my thought that Bertie would end up with one of Gus's uh, friends because yeah. there's, too, there's too many of them. Yeah, more people into the... Um, in, into like the circle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, we have a NorCal Malbec that I'm quite fond of right there. Oh, great. And for you, sir? Um, yeah, can I just get a um, sea breeze? Sea breeze. Yeah. I can hook you up. Cool. Great. <laughs> nice guy. Very cool. Very cool. That restaurant looks expensive. Mm -hmm. Gonna date me, I take him McDonald's. <laughs> Only plain. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about my job. It's about listening and it's about working together and creating a consensus and then giving that information to corporations so that they can make better products for consumers. That's a cool perspective because I feel like a lot of times the way people talk about focus groups is like, they rag on them, you know, because it's like, oh, they dumb things down, or they water things down, or... That came out rude. I didn't mean it. No, I understand. Yeah. I mean, I disagree, but... Uh, I disagree, too. I mean, I don't feel that way. See, they don't click at all, man. But they're very eager. Because mm. they're both nice. Too much of the same person cannot really be... Mm. Too different. You learn more about each other's worlds. Let's toast. To what? Uh, well... 
Frank Sinatra used to say, may you all live to be 100 years old and me 100 years old minus one day so I don't have to see you die. Huh, did he really say that? I think so. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I didn't care what Yelp says. I'm liking this place. Yeah, me too. That's not so bad. Mickey said you can't trust that anyway. Like, usually it's just like one angry guy who has like a bunch of different accounts who writes a bunch of bad reviews. So, yeah. <laughs> she did that to a Thai place once. She told me she did it with the dry cleaners. Oh, she did both. Mickey's a badass. I oh love her. She's <laughs> <a> badass. Yeah. <laughs> she's awesome. She keeps me cool. Yeah. Both of us. I think maybe that's why she set us up. Oh, yeah. Like, like what do you mean? Oh, you know, just like, she's a lot cooler than me, and you're uh, like a really nice guy, but... Right. I, never mind. I don't think I said that right. Oh. Yeah, like, mm. Mickey just hangs out with the cool kids. Like, I'm not a cool kid. Oh, I wouldn't put it that way. What? <laughs> Everything's fine. Yeah. So. Put himself down there. No, it's cool. Yeah, he's just getting awkward, man. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. No, it's cool. I didn't. It's fine. Um, you still cold? I've adjusted to it. I like it. Don't suffer just so other people are comfortable. I used to be that person, you know, I used to be somebody who was like afraid to ask for things because out of fear or, or whatever. Just tell me, like, if you're uncomfortable, just say you're uncomfortable, it's fine. I don't like shrimp. <laughs> I love shrimp. Kids are horrible, they're all great. Great date. Excuse me. I am so sorry about the air conditioner. Let's get you somewhere else before you freeze, huh? Uh, sure, okay. thanks. Cool. Yeah, sure. she's just no problem. having a good time. Mm -hmm. I can't tell whether he's being a cunt or is he is a nice dude. Who is the waiter? Yeah? I don't know. What's she doing now? I think she's itching for a drink. Yeah. Or she's just trying to keep herself busy, she's stay just, like preoccupied. It's probably because she finds anything boring. Boredom's a big factor in Rehabilitation. I'm picking up the phone instead of picking up a drink. Yeah, Currently she's... arranging my books by colors. Trying to stay busy. Keep her mind off it. You know? Yeah, yeah. She can't masturbate. The cat keeps watching. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Great, thank you. And thank you so much for learning to switch tables. I appreciate it. Of course. See, I don't know whether he's a cunt or a nice dude. <laughs> I'm having a hard time getting a read on him, right? Yeah? Don't you think? Seems fine. I just don't want him to be like pissed off at me and then like get revenge on me with the food or whatever. How? By poisoning you? Rubbing a booger on my steak or putting a booger on my drink. Oh, I can't hear that. I'll be sick. I'm sorry. That's not me. I'm not like the gross guy. I was just trying to make you laugh. Or... Is this weird? Should not we working, moved? is it? No. Nah. Like we fucked up and we shouldn't have moved. Now we're next to the. I've been on dates like this where there's just no. No vibe there at all. I think I've had one date like that, actually. Oh, I've had a few. Ooh, a doobie. What's she gonna do? When I was 13, and I started smoking, a year later, I found a lump of weed in my, in my jeans. <laughs> Then they have a wall for wall. All right, time for those steaks. Thank you. Thank you. I bet it's my wrong steak. Huh? Mm. Look how bloody, bloody that is. Isn't it? Nope. Because if you don't like it, you don't have to eat it. That is like really bloody. The less you talk about the blood, it's, that's better for me. I'm just going to have them take it back. No, no, no. It's okay. No. Hey. hey. Whoa. Come on. Jeez, okay. I'm sorry, please excuse me, I have to use the restroom. Okay. Hey, wait, 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 are you choking? I'm not choking. Okay. Do you... Really don't need you to take me to the bathroom. Okay. Okay. Disaster date. She texts him. Skip out on the bill, I bet you. Oh. No, it's no fucking date. What? Oh, she... Maybe she was meant to have texted Mickey. Yeah, yeah. You must feel so horrible now. I mean, her steak is a little bloody, so maybe we can take it back, make it well done. Hey, um, 
think... I think she sent me a text that she meant to send to her friend. Uh, is it bad? Yeah. It's pretty bad. <sighs> I'll tell you what, bro. I'm gonna take care of this steak for you. You know what? Leave her steak. It's... it's perfect. It's... It's the perfect level of bloodiness. Okay. No road job for him then? <laughs> like, if he knows that it's not going to go nowhere, she thinks it's a bad date. Yeah. Okay, sir. <clears throat> Is he just going to say fuck it? Like, don't care? Yeah. On my wine? Yeah. Can I have a little sip? Yeah, sure. <laughs> You need to dance to go on like a cunt, though. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Yeah, it is. Want have another sip? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, that that's something that I would do. I would say, you know what, fuck it then. Mmm. Let's nah. have some fun. I want to be a, like, like a complete dick. Yeah. But I would have like like some fun with it. If I like kind of move it across the seat, I get the scratch. Just trying to get that butthole scratch, you know. <laughs> Forgot to touch my buddy. It's his birthday today. Do you mind? Oh no, that's fine. Touch this motherfucker. <laughs> Happy birthday. A hard fucking bum. <laughs> 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 that is something I would do, man. I really would have, but I fuck it, man. <laughs> okay, okay. And now she's sending that to her. No, I'm still picking on it. It's just so good. I hey. want to savor every ounce of he's it. He's bumming the date. <laughs> so she's going to bum the date as well. Like, she's going to say fuck it as well. Thank you. That was fantastic. <laughs> All I'm saying is. And they might actually, like, connect. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Devil's advocate. When I'm on Tinder, I'm yeah, like, black, dance, no, dance. Oh, What's wrong? My dick fell asleep. Uh, <laughs> like he knows, you know. He knows. <laughs> My big dick fell asleep. Oh, wow. Oh, hey, ouch. Maybe after we get out of here, we go hit up a strip club. Great, that sounds like so much fun. Maybe yeah. we can wake up that numb dick of yours. <laughs> Get out of here. Let's do right. it. Okay. Mm. Oh, you dick. <laughs> oh no, I guess we can't go to the strip club. That is too bad. All right, let's wrap this up. Mickey was texting both of us. We all know. Stop it, I said I'm sorry, okay? Oh my god, are you really choking? Is this real? Oh my god, he's choking! Fuck! I got you, I got you, buddy. Here we go. It's not working. It's not working. Why is it not working? There it is! Wow. What a day. <laughs> what a day. Did you see Twiggy yet? No. You? Did that for me, Mickey, though, was I? Oh my god, that was so crazy when you're choking. I was like, wow, he's really choking. So ridiculous. That happens to me like all the time. Really? You'd be terrible at blowjobs. <laughs> 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 well, I'll make sure never to suck a dick. That's a good idea. <laughs> hey, don't talk. Hmm? Well, I just think we're two nice people who gave it our best shot, and that's the best we can do. I'm gonna let Chuck always be. I just See, the them two didn't work. I think she'll Sorry. end up with one of his mates. Yeah, because there's quite quite a few of them. Hey, dude, those text messages were so funny. Oh, you like that? I was laughing all night. Oh, good, good, good. You know, I tried. You pissed at me. Okay.
Mickey, you know I like you. I don't have a lot of dignity, but I have enough dignity to say, like, hey, I don't like being pawned off. What do you want me to say? I, I don't know. I'm not dumb. I know what this is. I get it. You're not interested. It's cool. We can just say it's cool. Pleasure to meet you. Okay. I respect that, man. You yeah. got to, like, got to just put it there. Press your phones and we'll take this in there. Didn't put it out there. You're always gonna be that that nice guy friend. You know what I mean? I've been there too many times. Oh, yeah. Stop! Ooh. Hey, hello. That was like super dangerous. Kiss. Ooh. Yeah, man. Yes. Fun first date, huh? I like it. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Oh, I really thought they were gonna branch it out for a lot more episodes before seeing them two interacting together like that. Man. And actually, they're actually hooking it up now. Yeah, I like it. It's cool. Honestly, like I, I think it's a good thing that he put himself out there because sometimes you have to because otherwise you would stay that kind of like that nice guy friend in the fr in the friend zone. You know what I mean and. But I'm still shocked that they actually had the kiss now. But then again, we're, we're on episode five. Like, like, we're halfway through, like, the first season. Yeah. So, just, like, pacing-wise, it makes sense. I personally thought that they would try and drag it out a bit and have that first kiss at, like, the season finale or something. I like it. It's done it like this, though. Yeah. I like it. It's done it like this. Very fast pacing. It'd be kind of interesting now to see them two, like, actually go out and spend time together and... Was she going to tell him about the AA meeting, do you reckon? Well, I'm sure it will come up because, like, like if they go for a drink, then, like, she's going to have to mm. say something. Mm. Yeah, man. I'm, hmm, I can't wait to go back and watch that to see us both react because we were both like, Go on! <laughs> <laughs> but the waiter. I couldn't mm. tell whether he's being a cunt or a nice dude. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm kind of eager to see where the next episode is going to go. We've got the thumbnail up right now. That's Andy Dick, right? Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Why the fuck is Andy Dick in the next episode? And the episode's called Andy as well. God damn. I give this video a thumb up if you like it. Comment down below, let me know what you think. And subscribe if you haven't already, man. All right? I've been Sif Fury, and this has been Brown Bear Henry. And we'll catch you all in the next one, man.